Hey everybody, it's John Pollock along with John Ramdeen and Robin Black. Later on today, there is going to be an announcement made at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And we are not going to add hyperbole to this because industry changing, maybe a year from now we can look back and call this industry changing or not. Two years, because three years, five years maybe. This has been maybe the most well-marketed press release yeah. we've seen in quite some time out of mixed martial arts. Nonetheless, there are some heavy hitters involved in this with Bjorn Rebney, who is right out of Parts Unknown since uh, disappearing oh. from Bellator. George oh, St. Pierre. He had to have been hovering, waiting for his opportunity. He Wasn't he a part of the whole Eddie Alvarez making his way over to the UFC? Wasn't he a part of that time? I mean, before he was he, uh, a promoter for in mixed martial arts, Bellator, he started Bellator. Well, he, Scott Coker came into power while Eddie Alvarez was sure. still there. And, you know, Scott but Coker he, kind of expediated his, his <laughs> exit. <laughs> right. That's right. But the fact is that Scott Coker, or Scott Coker, Bjorn Rebney, before uh, founding Bellator, he was, he was a, a sports lawyer. So he knows the ins and outs now of the mixed martial arts industry and the sporting world. So I'm not surprised that he's a part of this. Is he a positive or a negative? Because there's a lot of people out there who look sure. negatively sure. on Bjorn Rebney. Yeah, that's very true. So industry reconfiguring event. Yeah. Uh, press releases are meant, they work better than they ever have because the media is dumber than it's ever been. And it will just stay, oh my God. On Wednesday, there's going to be like a industry changing event. So it's going to be an announcement of a union that apparently, I think it was Deadspin, but I'm not 100% sure, has already found the uh, websites and they are owned by Bjorn Rebney. Now, uh, if you are pro union, there's a union called the Mixed Martial Arts Fighters Association. It is modeled after the Screen Actors Guild and Major League Baseball Players Association. It is owned and run for fighters and coaches by fighters and coaches. If anyone's goal is to help uh, make fighters more successful, protect them and so forth, they should go and help this. It's Randy Couture, it's Fedor, it's a ton of great fighters and coaches. This already exists. So when people are like, finally there's a union, there's a union already. <laughs> So whether you're Bjorn Rebney or somebody behind the scenes at CAA or GSP or any of these people, if they really wanted to help the fighters, they wouldn't come out and say, well, we have this brand new industry. They would just go and help the union that's there already fighting for it. The reason other people don't do that is because going and helping that existing union doesn't give them money and power. Starting your own and using a strategy of bringing in some bigger name fighters, convincing them, much like Scientology convinced Tom Cruise, <laughs> go in and convince some bigger people to get behind something. Now you have the money and the power. If you really are pro-union, the Mixed Martial Arts Fighters Association is there and they've already been doing this for a long time. But we in the media are stupid. And but what so have they been doing? You say that they've, they've existed, they've been here to help fighters. How have they helped fighters? They are trying to grow. They brought the Teamsters in. There's, they already exist. They haven't been able to penetrate yeah. the UFC. Right. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So why will Bjorn Rebney do it? Why would anyone even try? Why wouldn't you go and go, they haven't been able to penetrate the UFC. Why don't we help them? because you don't have money and power if you go and help them. If you start your own and go, we're going to be the guys, you will acquire money and power. It is a play to get in and get a piece of the action and of the control. And Bjorn Rebney, you'll see later on today, there'll be a lot of talk about helping fighters and you know cleaning sure. up this sport and all that kind of stuff. If you really wanted to help, Randy Couture's been working on this for a long time. This isn't motivated by help, or if it was, you would already go help the Mixed Martial Arts Fighters Association. A great thing that has been put together, modeled after, like I said, The question is though, Robin, does the MMA Fighters Association, having seen, like for years they've been working on this, we can see what, what they've been able to achieve. Do they, do they have that muscle that uh, mm -hmm. a bunch of fighters with George St. Pierre and okay, whether the or not is, there's yeah. CAA involvement here, there, there is a lot of muscle to this on paper, that in theory. That muscle could help yeah. them. Why well, wouldn't I, that muscle help? But them? what happens if they, they tried and it's like, you know did what, they, you got, I, they, I don't know. Of course they did. I don't know. They, You're right. Bjorn Rebney has wanted to, has created an environment. We're going to find this out later today. If CAA is playing a little bit involved, right. and mu many of their fighters are, if CAA is involved, that would literally be as if McDonald's had a bunch of independent contractors working and Burger King came along and said, we would like to be your union. You know what I mean? This is dirty business, what's going on. If you want to help the fighters, there's already the Mixed Martial Arts Fighters Association. Carlos Newton has been working yep. on this for almost a decade. But people don't want to do that, and the media get, uh, industry changing. Wow. Uh, look, there's a union. There's already a union.
Well, I mean, there's there's been many versions of this. I'm skeptical we're ever going to of see course. this. The idea of getting all of these fighters on board, this is a very selfish, individually driven sport where guys are petrified to speak out of line. There's very, it's, it's happening more commonly now, but still to get their name on a piece of paper and 500 of them, I, I don't care who you've got. I'm very skeptical to see where this goes. I hope it happens. When you hear the UFC talking about wanting a four and a half billion dollar television deal and the fighters don't get a penny of that, it's yeah. outrageous at this point that there isn't one, that there isn't any kind of collective bargaining, that they can say, hey, Robin, we don't like that shirt. We've got, we've got a white shirt you're gonna wear every single day with no more cars, no more lobsters, no more French fry shirts, no more bedazzled shirts, just a white shirt yeah. with a Reebok logo on it, that's it. It's crazy how yeah. much bargaining power they've given up over the years. And you're at this boiling point, but I just feel the industry is crafted in such a way that to get everyone involved for a collective vision, hey, I hope I'm proven and, wrong. And that's why I was very surprised to see, like when you talk about Carlos Newton and Randy Couture and Fedor, those guys were so removed from the UFC when they were, when they were doing this. Cain Velasquez, George St. Pierre, is he under contract with the UFC? If he wants to make the most money he's ever made in mixed martial arts for a matchup with Conor or Michael Bisping, you know, you want to you know, stay in the good books with the UFC. Instead, he's aligned himself with Bjorn Rebney in this. So w and why are these guys doing Rob this? Macy's involved with the MMA Fighters Association. He's a very smart individual. And to Robin's point, I think there, there could be something here. And I think as we can watch the, the, the Professional Fighters Association just implode, I think yeah. that's done. Once you what, that's breach the one from 10 weeks ago? Is that the one we announced? Uh, like in, there was a press release 10 weeks ago, and it was like, oh, there's a, there's a union. new yeah. union. Where did, is that the one? That, that, was, that was the Jeff Boris-led yeah. one. And That's what I'm saying. And that and one's then, imploded. <laughs> by the time three, four, five, why don't they go together and work if they really want to accomplish something? And the answer to that is everybody wants a piece of this yeah. $4 billion pie. And if you're the one running a union, you'll get it. If George, Velasquez, TJ, all of these guys call up Randy and call up Carlos and those guys, they'll have a lot more than if the guy who used to be running Bellator, who is not super well liked by a lot of fighters or the business, comes out and says, I'm running the show. It's just, not, it's, it's just crazy, like it, it's bizarre. It, it's hard to say because we don't know what this announcement is yeah, going to entail, true. what kind of muscle they have behind them. If there's more names than just what have been released publicly, we will find out that announcement is coming up later today at 4 p.m. Eastern.